Mark 8 GTI. Yep, the new GTI, which is pretty the cool. Benchmark. Came out last year. Mm -hmm. We hadn't had a chance to drive it yet. But here is the Mark 8 GTI. They just came out with the Golf R. This is the latest and greatest of the definitive hot hatch. Yep, indeed. And changes have been made. Not a lot. Well, there's still like evolution that is the <laughs> GTI. Great cars, great roads, and all the reasons we love to drive. TV, web, and podcast. This is Everyday Driver. It's now turned into a slow evolution because you can't do much with proportion. Mm. If it's a GTI, if it's a Golf, what are you going to do? What are you going to change? It has to all be underneath. Mm. And it is. It's the same wheelbase as the Mark 7, even though the entire car is a little bit longer. That's fine because that short wheelbase actually rotates really nicely. We already know there's a good base recipe here. Sure, yeah. But whereas the prior gen GTI had 228 horsepower, this is now 241. That's the logical thing you do. You start with power, right? Yeah, yeah, bump yeah. it up, bump the torque up to 273 pound-feet. Now things are starting to get really interesting, but they bumped the price up too. Yeah, well, it's because they added adaptive dampers here that actually do make a change, a genuine change. Before it was like normal mode, sport mode, I'm not sure anything changed. Mm -hmm. You can feel a difference here in the dampers. Also, Volkswagen has done what they did with the ID4, this all digital interface. They're bringing it to everything else. That costs money too. Yes, it does. Um, so that's here as well. It's not the Golf R, and it's 40 grand. Yeah. Golf R's used to be 40 grand, right? Yep. Didn't they? Yep. Well, the power has increased to the point where this is a genuine performance car. It's not just a hot hatch. Yeah. It's a performance car because 240, that's the sweet spot for mm. sports cars, right? There's a lot of stuff in that range, you're right. Well, also, there's a lot of stuff at 40 grand, too, which is a bit of an issue. Yeah, agreed. GTIs have always been fun to drive, and this is no different. It feels like it's even gotten sharper and more precise, but being front wheel drive, it just still feels uncommunicative to me. Mm. But I like that initial turn in, that initial precision. It is really good. It's two turns lock to lock for full steering. It, yeah. It's tight and it's variable ratio as well. So obviously, yep. depending upon your speeds, it can be really aggressive in the turn in, which is really cool. Yeah. 9.5, 14.1. That's Cayman territory. That's really That's tight. That's down yeah, there in sure. Alpha Julia territory. You're right. At you're 11. right. Yep. But this, yeah, that, that turn in is really interesting. So if you're a Volkswagen fan, all the stuff that needs to change is mechanical. Mm. And that's what they've done. So good news, that's what you want. I might pull over here. The interface. We're <laughs> you, getting you right to, to it. You have to change something now, don't I'm you? I'm starting yeah. right there because this is the coolest looking and most maddening part of the car. Mm. It's almost to the point where it would prevent me from buying a GTI or any future Volkswagen car. Mm. It's not that it's not intuitive because you can get used to it. It's yes. just, it's not natural what most cars are and the way people think. Rotary knobs, for example. Mm -hmm. Turn the fan down, turn the volume up, whatever that is. There's no rotary anything, yeah. no knobs. To get into climate, you touch the misspelled word, clima. Clima, not climate. We don't have enough space for that. The TE, we just we have to save money. We don't we can't afford TE. That's where we cut the budget, right? We the, can't right afford there? TE. Really? Clima is enough. If you're going to bring a touch sensitive like a phone kind of interface, and oh look, it went back to the home mode. It I didn't ask climate. it to. We haven't even left yeah, we didn't even solve climate yet. It's too slow. It behaves too slowly. It thinks it's not quick enough because people nowadays want instant results. And it has to do that. So clearly it was designed on a computer screen looks great there mm -hmm. you click the mouse it all works great yeah. but when it comes to driving the thing that you need instantaneously yep. it's just not there and if you need to defrost the windshield and the rear window it's not where you think it is it's over on the left you have to retrain yourself so it's not intuitive it's well there it is well but it's also again. there's also no buttons in this car the stuff on the wheel and the stuff over there that you're talking about, well, it's haptic stuff. It's all, yes. It's, it's, it's all not, it's the capacitive sensitive. stuff. It's yes. not actual buttons that compress. So yeah. you're not even clear if it's really taken your command or not. And it's piano black. Yes, it's <laughs> all of these things. If you're, if you're a person that you just think, I'm hot right now, you're a couple steps and a, probably 10 or 15 seconds from changing what the climate is. Yes, indeed. Oh, that's, that's difficult. Well, look at the exterior styling. This is the best part of the car because I was yes. just looking at it. Yes. If you didn't think, you know, GTI, if you didn't know anything, 
And you just saw this as a cool car. It looks really good. It does look good. The signature light bar all the way across the front under the leading edge of the hood. The hood itself is very sculptural, very clean, very nice. But then it just has some scallops for those detailed headlights. It looks really good. Every detail around the car, very crisp, even mm -hmm. sharper than the last generation. So it's made it a very defined shape, very crisp lines. Volkswagen is even painting these in cool colors. Weird. Paul Mello Yellow. Mellow okay. Yellow. All right, good. I like it. Golf ball. It's not a golf ball. Anymore. It's really not. Now it's just a shape. <laughs> it's but just they, a but they, shape. But they still called it a golf ball in the press materials. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know much, but golf balls are not that shape. If you have a golf ball that is this weird <laughs> rounded off <laughs> box shape, you have other problems with your game. You Crazy. can actually blame the ball for the first time ever in golf if this is the shape of your golf ball. The dog ball. ate my homework. The ball is a weird the ball shape. Is, the ball is a square. Yeah, it kind of is. Yeah. <laughs> okay, my turn. <laughs> Only USB-C's in this. The Volkswagen's done that for a little while, but if yeah. you're a person that has, you know, normal USBs, you're going to need a converter. Just one of those random things. I say this, and it's important because what you're going to want is Apple CarPlay. You can plug it in directly, or you yeah. can do wireless. At that point, you do get a screen that you're used to. Unfortunately, it's, <laughs> it's being home. driven by a system that you're not going to like. And I think and this is the other thing. I think you're going to want Apple CarPlay or Android Auto on because you recognize sure. it. Sure. But that's going to mean you're going to use this new difficult interface less. So you're going to be, it's going to take you longer to get used to it in the background. Mm. It's a problem. They've gone away from actual gauges in the in the uh, instrument panel. Yes. There's a lot of information there. We that should go driving cool. so we get off the, I mean, we should go driving. Just, yeah, okay. It, 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 that's the issue. It's going to, you're going to find something about this that's going to frustrate you. That's the issue. Mm -hmm. And when you start driving, that's when the car comes to life and that's when it's really good and fun to drive. But the rest of the time, this is very important. Mm -hmm. Well, I do think that this continues what the GTI has always done well, and that is you bought one car that can do everything. Yeah. When you're not yeah. driving this quickly and you're just commuting in it, even with a six speed. It's very comfortable and easy. Yeah. It's just, Great. I'm just chilling here. I'm going down a back road. I'm not worried about it. The seats are very comfortable. These are long-term seats. Anytime I sit in this car, I just think, yeah, you could drive all day in these seats. Yeah. They're really comfortable. Now, they're not overly aggressive for back roads, but that's the trade-off. I think you'd love commuting in this. I think you would find it easy to commute in this in stop and go with the six-speed. It's one of the easiest gearboxes I've driven, especially in a performance car, as far as just ease of use. Mm -hmm. It always has been. Now, the GTI's always been totally. easy to drive. The flip side is it's not as precise as something like a Honda Civic that has got a really precise gearbox. It's not that yeah. precise. Yeah. It doesn't ask that much of you. But if you're a person that is either learning to drive manual or you're commuting in a manual, I think you're going to be thrilled with this six-speed. Yeah. I Great. know the DSG is faster. I know it does all the things. The GTI needs help with engagement. It always has. And so having the six-speed helps me like it more. This car is in an interesting position because it's right at the crossover of Volkswagen going to all electric. Yes. Or almost all electric. And this is their legend they're going to exactly. have to leave behind. This is the past. This is still something that enthusiasts love. This is the best car Volkswagen builds. Mm. I know the Golf R exists. There's other models on the planet they build that we don't get. But I still think this is a sweet spot for them and they know it. They haven't forgotten about it. But it's in this weird, I want to be technologically you know, advanced and mm. futuristic, but still have an old school kind of fun driving experience. So they put their it's new right interface between. in it and ruined it. I mean, and, <laughs> oh. and tried to modernize oh. it. Yikes. But see, you're st you can really build up your speed here. Yeah. This has got good power. Yeah, it does. It really does. Zero to 60 in the fives. That used to be supercar territory yeah, in the nineties. Well, but it's sports car territory now. Yeah, it is. It has excellent power now throughout the entire range. Yep. It just moves, and you're going to love it for that. And it's still very easy to operate, and that's what I've always loved about these yes, things. Yes, for sure. It, it is. It is king of the all-in-ones. It mm. does that really, really well. Stuff in the road. Stuff in the road. It's funny. I've never really loved Volkswagens. I mean. I'm not in, in love with their lineup. Mm. Sorry, the system. No, 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 Don't no, talk no, about Volkswagen. No, 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 she no, no, comes no, no, to no. life. She comes to life. Yeah. Oh, what did I do? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I'll just let it reset just, itself and think. Exactly. Yeah. It'll think for you. It's fine. 
This has a new electronically controlled differential that yep. they say completely avoids all corruption in the steering. And that's marketing speak. You can still feel it corrupting the steering. Now, it's a front wheel drive car with a limited slip differential it's up front, physics. and it does a really, really good job. It really does a very yeah. good job. Yes, you can still feel it working, you can feel it thinking, and then you're marveling at it because it does really well. It does great, yeah. But it, there's, you can still tell it's front wheel drive, you can still tell that corruption is happening, but that's the nature of a car like this. The other thing is that adaptive chassis control, it's tough to say, get a car and don't get the dynamic suspension. True. The problem is it adds cost to the car. It does. And when you can get it on a relatively cheaper car like this one and it pushes the price up, it's in a weird spot. It is. It's hard to justify. This thing's yes. almost 40 grand. 40 grand for this feels like we've reached another era. We've reached a Golf R at that point. Yes. You really have. You're now shopping Civic Type R. You're shopping the class above this. You can now yep. start looking at things like the 3 Series sedan at that point. And that's a real problem for a front wheel drive hatch. Mm -hmm. I, do, um, I do really like this. I think this is an improvement of the GTI. But I, it's still not as fun as I want it to be but I can't take a thing away from it on how oh, much it is yeah. the phenomenal all-in-one. It is. 40 grand is a lot, though. It's a lot. I want to say, yeah, get the GTI because there are four... There are four... <laughs> you can't finish that a sentence. Four, there, there are... The, a four, if mm. you can afford one, the GTI is there very good. Is. There it is. Yeah. 